Hi there guys, so good to be back on our old school play style on Challington map and uh, yes, we um, just carry on where we left off the last time um, I've just loaded the map for us, so let's jump in and let's just quickly catch up, where did we left off? Um, I think we were finished with this field, yes, we finished this huge field 15 on top um, this this field, we finished harvesting that and collecting all the straw um, and in this field, field 11, if we jump there, uh, we can quickly have a look what's happening there. Oh, here we go. Farmer Bob is busy cultivating this field, getting it ready, field 11, for next harvest. So let us uh, um, just load the course for this again. For some reason, course play doesn't always remember your waypoints, you know, oh, your, um, your courses that's been loaded. So let us see. Field 11 uh, to sell harvesting. Field 11. I must actually start just putting these things in folders. Okay, I don't have a, um, a course for it, so let's quickly make one. Uh, if we have to create a course for this, it will be field work. It's created. Field 11. Now let's go here. Field 11. It's a 3 meter wide cultivator. We, we started this course in the southwest corner. Oh, sorry, that now southwest. There you go. And we were driving east. All right, and then let me just quickly run through the rest. That looks all right. No headlands. And then I just want to see how this looks. We should be on track with a yeah, we are exactly on track uh, with the waypoint. Is it the right direction? I haven't checked now. Yes, it is. All right. Good. So let us save this now. Field 11. Colty. I'll just call it Colty. I'll know what Colty means. And uh, let us set the driver off at the nearest waypoint. Drive the course. It should be all right. Listen to that McCormick starting up. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's look at this helper. He's got a head on. Okay. And he's also playing with the air steering wheel. Ah, that's amazing. These guys on this map. <laughs> okay. Let's let him be. Let's carry on to the next. That's our little Waldorfies. Waldhoffers. Um, this is our old school truck. Very, very nice old truck. And our harvesters, and these are our grain truck, our old Zul, very nice old um, Zul and our tractor there. Okay guys, um, so we're busy doing that bottom field, we only have one cultivator. Oh yes, and we paid off our debt, so we don't have any debt. So that is one very good thing that came out of that. Um, Oh, I wanted to have a look at our fruit, because we need to sell some fruit. We've got a lot, and I mean a lot, of wheat. Um, the price, the price isn't that great. It's not that bad either. But yeah, it, it, it can actually go up a little bit. So I think let's leave it for another day and see, uh, monitor it and see where it's going. Because it was over $1,000 not too long ago, you know, so yeah, let's leave that. And I think what we should do then is grab our um, our next tractor. This is the old one with the trailer. We use this for running the grain. Uh, that's our Zul. Let's take this one, our John Deere. And uh, let's go buy another cultivator. We only have one cultivator. I'm jumping the hedge here. Hope you guys don't mind. It's nice old John Deere. Let's check the traffic. And here we go. I'm not too sure of the, the tractor sound, if it's too loud. I'll have a check in the recording. I hope it's not too loud. I did have some problems with the with the vehicle um, sounds being too loud, you know. So I hope this is not too loud. 
anyways, here we go. We're on our way. Let's buy another cultivator. We have some money, so yeah. We'll be able to buy a cultivator, no problem. And here we are. At the shop. Here's our cedar ready to be uh, used once we have the once we have the um, fields prepared but for now we need another cultivator so let's buy a cultivator excellent cultivators uh, I'm just gonna go for a small one as well um, that is equivalent $8,800 let's see if there's any second hand equipment might be a bit cheaper that one is 2.2 meters this old maths messy um, it's 6,500 and it's a 5 meter wide um, quality now I'm not too sure if I'm gonna need a weight for this uh, that is the one thing I'm wondering about which that's a 2.8 meter there's a union this has got its own drive wheels so it's should be nice enough and that is 15 grand yo that's a bit much for now 8 8 there's an old junior and that one is 3 meters for 5 5 which is so far the cheapest by the looks of it 24 23 there's another one 4 1 hey this is 3.5 meters so I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe we should try this one out haven't ever used this it needs 50 kilowatts so I'm sure our tractor should be able to handle that nicely uh, they don't say the speed on it that's a pity but they're normally 15 16 k's an hour so let's buy that one I hope you guys agree it looks like a nice uh, one to start or to use let's give it a go let's give it a go right there it is I hope I really hope I don't need a uh, wait for this I just want to go external so I can actually see my uh, my three point connector three point uh, connecting unit there you go oh my gosh it almost almost looks like it wants to lift up I'm, I'm just trying a reverse and then forward move let's see oh, it doesn't really so yeah it it seems seems all right seems to be okay um, okay what to do what to do guys what to do uh, I think we, we want to also cultivate the top field this one is almost finished so I think what we'll do is we'll put this one on um, field number 6 is it because field 10 is already ready to, uh, to plant so we'll take this one to field 6 and harvest, uh, cultivate that so long and then field 10 we can start seeding ok so let us do that without further a waste of time and now I know I'm driving over my nicely cultivated <laughs> field farmer Bob what are you doing okay so let us go there oh let's actually take my view to the front so this field is also prepared ready to be planted nice okay wonderful here's our exit I hope the gate is still open I didn't close it I never close these gates because we don't have any uh, cows or things walking around here that will be a problem and while we're working a field there's no point in closing the gate because we're busy working it 
Here's our duck pond. Our duckies are busy. <laughs> busy ducking. <laughs> Whatever they do. Okay, guys. Three meters wide. So we're going to have to quickly do a course for this as well. Um, Alright, so. Making a course for field six. Um, we have to select field six here. And this was according to spec. I must just make sure now. It was 3.5, was it? Am I mistaken? It says 3.5, but no. They want to rip us off here with the with the field width. So let's just make this 3.5. We'll quickly see if it's not. Starting location is southwest and driving east, uh, not northeast. Turn to first point, and that should be it. Let us do it. Yes, so first point is there, very nice, and uh, save it, field 6, quality, and it's 3.5M, okay, save, okay, wonderful, and we go in here, set this to first waypoint, go, 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 go. Okay, so, here's the worker is going. Uh, let's just change the speeds again, because obviously this is the first time, so the speeds we want definitely much faster. Uh, reverse speed absolutely much faster. And field speed we can make 30 at least. I must say guys, I'm very impressed with this old um, John Deere. It's really a nice little tractor for the farm. And look at that, it's doing 14 k's an hour, which I'm sure is the max speed for this um, cultivator. And we'll, we'll immediately now see when it does the next row, if, if that 3.5 meters is right or wrong. I just want to have, an, have a look at that, put, put a quick eye to that, so that if it's wrong, we can fix it up. But by the looks of it, it looks pretty much 3.5 meters wide. Yes, man, look at that. No gaps. Okay, wonderful. So we can leave that guy alone. He can carry on there. And then this field is fairly close to be finished. It is also cultivating right to the edge, which is nice. And I must say this McCormick is a really nice tractor. It's a pity the lights and things doesn't work on it, you know. Would it be nice um, if the lights and stuff work? Great. What else can we do, guys? Have we got another tractor? We do. We do have another tractor, uh, which is that. Um, this the it's for D80. Now this one has got. Uh, I, I'm, I think it's 55 kilowatts. Let's just have a quick look. The D80. If I'm correct, I can't really remember. I hope you guys can remember, but I can't. Uh, it is 55 kilowatt. Yes, the D80. So it should be able to drill or use that cedar. Let me just have a look at that cedar. Where is that cedar that I've bought? Uh, this is an old MF cedar, four meters wide, which is also nice. What's the price of this? Four thousand. Yeah, it's cheap, eh? That's a potato. This is the cedar we've bought. It needs 59. So I'm pretty sure that um, that boiki will be able to um, to use. What's the difference between this two? No difference at all. Okay, so let us go now. Let's go collect that cedar, guys, with this dead fall. Now I just need to correct myself. Um, for some reason, when I tested this tractor at first, the lights didn't work. Uh, but yeah, somehow they came right and now they are working. So yeah, my apologies. I did say it didn't work, but now it does. 
And like I said, that visor in front, it would have been nice if this visor could come down. Um, that would have really helped a lot, but there's no options and there's no IC uh, in this thing uh, to actually help put that visor down. Because uh, at the moment it's open and it's like a, a um, what do you call it? Exhaust gas scoop. <laughs> That's what I'll call it. It's scooping all that exhaust gas right into your face. So you sit there all, um, uh, um, what do you call these guys that commit suicide in the vehicles, which is a very bad thing. But you sit there all smoked up all day long, you know, behind that visor. Because while you're driving, the wind also still blows blows that exhaust gas right into your face. So I suppose the visor will help quite a bit to keep that out, you know. But anyways, not to worry, it's still a very nice model. I love this model. It looks beautiful. Um, it just have a bicycle horn, unfortunately. I don't care for the horn. <laughs> I, I like a decent horn on a tractor, you know. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, it's a small old tractor, so yeah, we forgive them, you know. They probably didn't have decent horns in the old days. But yet they did, man. They had some nice horns, you know. Remember then, on the old cars, they had that, um, I don't know what you call those horns, but it sounded like uh, the boat horns. You know, that type of thing, which I think that's a nice sounding horn, you know. Put that on the tractor. Or an air horn, man. A nice air horn. Once the trucks get. Yeah, put that on a tractor. That makes big noise. Okay, let's hook up our seed sewing machine. Some people call it a seed drill. Uh, I don't see it drilling much. Because it's actually, um, it's actually a sewing machine, you know. It sews the seeds. I suppose there's new things that you don't have to plow and cultivate on. You can call it drill, you know. But this is still, I'm sure, I'm in the wrong spot. Where am I? I'm definitely on the wrong spot to hook this up. Guys, what is Farmer Bob doing? I hope I'm now on the right spot. What do you guys think? Is this correct? Oh my gosh. Why can't I hook up? How does this thing work? Of course, I was at the right spot. Sorry, man, guys. I was definitely at the right spot. You have to hook it up this side. I've never used this cedar. It's a mod that I've downloaded for the old school series. Oops, almost too far. There you go. That's the way it works. And then I can only suspect that you um, you need to probably unfold it. Let's have a look. Can it unfold? Here something's happening. Yeah, it does. Look at that. It goes and lie on its side and then it gets to draw bed so that it can run on these other two wheels. Okay, that's beautiful. All right, that makes sense. So yeah, then you transport it this way with that two wheels. What a great design, guys. I really like it. I really, really, really like it. Okay. Even got reach markers, the whole toot. Um, Alright, without worrying too much, let us have a look at the map. Where do we buy seed on this map? Um, I can only presume it might be there. Um, here by the um, Chelting stores. It's the only place I can think. Otherwise, at the barn. Spinnery, that's our storage. That's our storage. Yeah, so it's either, it's, it, it's the only place it can be is there. If one, let uh, me just get rid of this ma this um, little map here. I'm just, just going to do a quick, quick loop here. To make sure that we know is the bank. There's no buying place there for sure. 
Nothing that looks like seeds. That's the custom shop. And they call this New Holland Agriculture Sales, Arts and Service. Ooh, watch out for the weight. Okay, guys. Without worrying too much, let us carry on. Let's see if we can get some seed for this thing. I would have actually liked to put a little bit of a bigger tractor on this, um, on this sewing machine. So I think, I would think that um, maybe if we should uh, swap tractors around. This one will be able to handle it because it's on the limits, just over the limits of what it can handle. So it will be nice to actually see how this one performs with this um, sewing machine. So now we need to have a look. The livestock market, it's definitely not going to be here. That's our way bridge. I'm just going to go external so that we can get a better view of the, the area around. That's definitely our cell point. Um, and this is obviously for biogas. Uh, I don't see any place where we can buy seeds here. So the thing to do would probably be um, I'll do a quick jump to the farm. I don't know if I've got any equipment at the farm. Uh, the, probably, prob the probable thing to do will be to buy some pallets at the shop. Let us just do that. It's going to be the easiest. Um, but now we need to also decide, guys, what are we going to plant? What are we going to plant? I definitely want to plant some high yield. Uh, not high yield, but high price. Uh, stuff so we'll have a look at the market we've got a lot of wheat at the moment so we're not bothered with wheat yes listen to that McCormick okay eh? <laughs> you can hear it through the bushes <laughs> it's got the like a nice deep bass sound I love that motor on that thing sounds awesome it's the six four cylinder <laughs> it's a six cylinder or a four cylinder that sounds like a six cylinder something kind Okay, let us just see. Um, where do we buy this stuff? Uh, um, Pallets, here we go. Okay, fertilizer. We want some fertilizer. Seed big bag. Solid fertilizer big bag. We don't want liquid. We want solid because that cedar, I'm sure it can. Uh, it does, does take uh, fertilizer. Big food saplings. So, so it's just, let's buy a pallet of each and then see yes thank you and one of these buy it yes thank you okay and then obviously let us just bring our tractor closer there so that we can see how to load this guys um, I haven't used this cedar before it's going to look there not here it's opening so let us just try and refill. It's filling up with seed. Nice. Sorry, that's actually fertilizer. And then, if we go this way, it will do the, the seed. Okay, so let us have a look at, while that is uh, loading up, let's have a look at what we're going to plant. Um, first one, I have a, oh, this is the shop, man. I want to go to the pricing to our market let's have a look barley is, seems to be quite nicely um, priced canola I know uh, canola it's a good price but you get less per hectare the same with sunflowers so sunflowers we will need no other headers because we don't won't be able to harvest sunflowers with the normal header beans beans is also a good good price very good price. Okay, so and corn. Corn is one, two. Shoo, what to do, guys? Well, it's basically, I think, uh, let's plant, let's plant some, because we've got, how many fields have we got now that's going to be planted? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twen
two, three, four. So we can plant four different types of fruit. Let's do one at each field. One, two, three, four. Let's skip the sunflowers, although the price is very nice. But we're going to need to need to buy another header then. Um, and the beans. So sunflowers and beans pricing is very nice. Um, well, guys, this is the end of another episode. And uh, it was really fun sharing this time together. Uh, I really want to just say thank you for uh, tuning in and joining me in this venture and having all fun together in our favorite game. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments if there's anything you want to um, say or any ideas or or any anything that stood out to you. I would love to hear whatever you think, you know. So yeah, it's always fun to do that. But thanks guys for tuning in and you've been great. Um, if you like the video, just give it a like. If not, thumbs down. Honesty is always the best um, uh, best recipe. <laughs> I just believe that, you know. So, guys, take care, man. This is Farmer Bob saying cheers. Until next time. Bye.